Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful starry seed beads classic black and white earrings. They're really easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself and I'm using really simple stuff only 11 0 seed beads and here I use ear wires and now guys, if you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And it's a good idea to do this because in this way you will know when I release matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. And you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I post below this video I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links to Amazon where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 0 seed beads, white and black. And here I use ear wires, you could use any type you like. This is Nemo beading thread, that is 0.2 millimeters, which is size D. And I'm using size 10 beading needle, scissors, and these are pliers. They are not obligatory, but if you should go through the difficult beads, you could use them. And now I'm going to take half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and in my first step I'm going to take 16 beads of this beautiful black cover. Okay, and now I have my 16 here on my needle. You see 16. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making a knot by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made and pull and then I'm going to make one more knot. I make sure that I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull and now guys I have this I have a beautiful circle of 16 beads and now I go through some beads in this direction pull and I'm going to take three black beads okay three on my needle and I'm going to skip the next black bead and go through the following okay now I have this and I'm going to take three more beads here skip the next one and go through the following and pull take three more skip the very next one and go through the following and I'm going to repeat these guys until the end of this row Okay guys, and I just added my last three beads from this row and I'm going to continue by going through the next two black beads and as I'm exiting out of this angle I'm going to take three white beads and go back in circle through them. Then I'm going through the next two black beads here, through those two you see. Okay, and pull. Now I want to take just one white bead and go back through these two, like this. Then I'm going here in this black bead, taking again three white beads, ok, 
Okay, like this. Going back in circle through this bead here at the angle. And if you can, in one movement, go through the next two black beads. If it's difficult to, to you, do it in two steps. And here I want one bead. And I'm going back through these two black beads. Like that. Then I go in the following black one. And then I'm taking three whites and I'm going back in circle through this black one. Then through the following two black beads. If you want to do this in one movement, if you want to do this in two movements, whatever you like. And I'm taking this white bead and I'm going back in circle through these two black beads. Then I'm going through this black one. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. If you forgot how I did it, just rewind this video and repeat those steps from here. See you in a while. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last white bead in this row. And I pull. And now in my next step, I'm going to go around the edges of my work because I want to connect my beads here. Not to move around and stay together. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until here, reinforcing it. And then I will tell you how we continue. Okay guys, and here I am where I just reinforced my work. And in my next step, I'm going to take three black beads and go back in circle through this white one here, like this. And then I will go through one white bead to the center of my work. And here I'm going to take just one black bead Skip this one here, this white here, and go through the following white. Okay. Pull. Then go here through my central white bead that's sticking out. Take three black beads and go back in circle through this white one. Okay, then, then go to the next white here, to the center of your work, and take just one black bead, skip the one here in the middle and go through the following. Okay, then go here in this central white bead. Take three black beads, like this, go back in circle through this angle white bead and pull. Skip one bead here and go through the following white. Okay. Pull tight and fix it. Okay guys, and now I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last black bead from this row. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is go here through these three beads that I added at the angle. Take one black bead, go here through this central black one. Then I'm taking one more black bead 
and I'm going here in this black one going through those three here at the top take one black and this is an obviously really easy row my friends uh, because what everything that I add here is one black bead where I have holes okay one black bead okay and go here go through the three top beads to the three angle beads take one black and go through this one here in the middle then one more black and go here through these black beads okay and now guys i'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last bead from this row and now this is what i have and i want to go here at the edge of my work and take three white beads like this and add them here going around in circle like I did before then I want to go through two beads in this direction okay take just one white bead skip the one here at the angle like I did in my previous row and go through these two black beads in this direction okay I have this now I want to go through this black at the angle and I want to take three white beads I want to go back in circle through this black one and also if you can in one movement go through the following two black beads okay here just take one white bead and go back through the following two blacks go here through this black one take three white beads go back in circle through this one then through the following two blacks you could do this in one movement or in two movements whatever you like and add one white bead okay guys and now I'm going to continue adding more and more beads and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up uh, next just repeat this part from here and see you in a while okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last white bead from this row and I want to exit here at the top where I want to attach my ear wire okay and I will go through this white bead by the way if you want you could go reinforce your last row but I'm not showing you this right now okay now I have this ear wire and I want to attach this to my work okay now I, in order to do this I'm going to take one black bead then I'm going to take my ear wire slide those down and I'm going to take one more black bead okay and I will go back in circle through this white bead okay like this let me focus okay and now I will reinforce it okay guys and after I reinforce my work it's time to make a knot and cut my thread and in order to do this I'm going here and making a loop between those two black beads 
and I'm going once, then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then what I want to do is go through the following seed bead and when I pull now it's safe to cut my thread and my earring is ready okay guys and now my starry seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials links to amazon where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.